the knee slice pass counter. What to do when your guard is just about to be passed and you know it, and instead of accepting side control, we're gonna do something much more fun. Hey guys, the knee slice pass is a part of all of our lives on the mats, you know? If uh, I'm in guard here, my partner Paul, a lot of guys, they're gonna put their right knee in and they're gonna slide it through. Okay, that's just a part of life. That's just jujitsu, right? So when your partner's doing this, obviously we can do all sorts of stuff to try to stop him, but sometimes he's got his knee through and he's got good pressure and I'm just holding onto his foot. And I kinda am trying to play quarter guard, but really I know that he's gonna get his foot out and I'm kinda just waiting here. All right, this is really, really, really common. It's gonna happen to a lot of people. So we're gonna have a look at what we do. So as a guy comes through, as soon as he really drives through and he's in quarter guard, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab, you can use either hand, I'm gonna use my right hand here today for the camera, is I'm gonna grab into his pants, okay? So how I'm gripping, if I grip this one, would be like this. So I'm gonna fold in and I've got a good push grip here. What I'm trying to do is straighten out my right hand so that he can't bring his knee through anymore. So try to bring your knee through, it's just not gonna go anywhere. But you can't stay here, because he'll start cross-facing me and flattening me out and then he'll pop. So once I've got a little stopper on his, uh, on his pant leg here, I'm now gonna use my left knee here and I'm gonna give his butt a big bump. So I'm gonna give his butt a big bump here. Boom! Okay, once I've got here now, I still gotta keep his sleep. I'm gonna turn to my knees, okay? And now I'm gonna be attacking him in a turtle. So this position changes totally if he, say, had an underhook on me. So now maybe he's got an underhook, okay? So now I'm not gonna be able to attack the turtle, but by giving him a bump, I can get to my knees like this and then potentially attack his legs. So the next time you guys find yourself in that position of him passing and you just go, oh damn it, the guy passed my guard again. Just grab onto those pants and hold your arm very stiff. And then when he's about to pass, he's about to pass, he's about to pass, with your left knee, give his butt a big bump, and then get to your knees, and you'll find 50% of the time you're here, attacking the turtle, okay? Otherwise, you're gonna find that at least you get to turtle position, which is a world away from being stuck under side control. It's so much better, guys. So if you guys find you're about to be passed, never let someone knee slice you without at least trying this. Your world isn't gonna get worse, it's gonna get better. How much better? Well, depends how much you practice. But it's a hell of a lot better than getting passed and getting smashed from side control, which let's face it, it happens to all of us, so let's minimize it. Thanks for watching guys, I'm Coach Tom, I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you loved it. For more videos, click here. And if you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. I'm Coach Tom. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.